What's going on guys this is Miron and welcome to the new video tutorial. In this video tutorial I am going to show you how to display database value into your web application using ASP.NET and SQL server or how to populate grid view with a database value or how to bind grid view in ASP.NET application which uses SQL server database whatever technical term you call it the tutorial is same. In fact this video is the continuation of the previous video in which I showed you how to insert delete and update using ASP.NET and SQL Server. Let's do it. In fact, you can do this uh, using two method or two way. First one is by using the Visual Studio tools. I mean using the GUI tools. And the second method is by writing the code. I am going to show you the both method. And you can use any of the method in your web application depending on which method you find it easy. So let's do it. So open up Visual Studio. Here you can see I am continuing with the previous video where I show you insert, delete, and update. So go to source. I am going to add one uh, table row over here and table data. And uh, here I am going to go to tools and go to data and drag and drop this uh, grid view and go to design. Now here you can see this. Uh, arrow and click that arrow and you can add some format uh, for personal uh, ok and I am going to show you the first method that is using the GUI method so uh, click this drop down icon choose the data source new data source and select SQL and then click ok and then uh, choose your connection that I already connect this application with the database so this one is my connection and then click next and click next here you have uh, two options. Either you can specify your custom uh, SQL statement or standard procedure or specify column uh, from a table. And from here uh, you can see here is the column list. And if you click this uh, asterisk checkbox, all the column from your table will display. Or if you want to display only ID and name, you need to click this ID and click checkbox. I am going to display all. So I am uh, clicking this asterisk and then click next and then click finish now first of all let me go to server uh, explorer and then expand that uh, connection and then table and right click over the table and show the data here you can see there is only one row so we just complete the GUI method so uh, execute in any browser you want there you go our grid view is displaying data in uh, web application one more thing you will not see even the structure of this grid view in your web application or web form if your database have no value stored in it so keeping that mind first insert some data in your table and then uh, you will uh, see the data in the grid view of your web application I am going to show you the second method so go to visual studio go to your web forms and go to source I am going to delete this uh, DDB again and go to toolbox and drag and drop grid uh, view go to design and here you can uh, add some format professional and then ok now we are going to write the code so expand that waveforms and go to uh, waveform1.axps.cs file and we are going to create one function So data and inside this function I am going to write the code. So first of all we need to connect this application with the database. So SQL connection con, con is equal to new SQL connection and here goes the connection string copy our connection string. All these things I show you in the previous video. So if you uh, don't know how to do all these things connection string and connect uh, your visual studio application with the database uh, please watch previous video and we need to write the command sql command sql command cmd is equal to new sql command and here goes the sql command select all from our table name that is idus and uh, we need to connect to connection and here we need to open the connection connection.open 
and the SQL data reader SDR is equal to CMD dot execute reader there you go and we need to give the data source of the grid view so grid view one dot data source is equal to SDR and we need to bind the grid view so grid view one dot data bind data bind there you go now we need to close the connection first of all let me scroll down connection dot close now we need to do one more thing when the application is run we need to display all the data in the web application so what you need to do is copy this function and call this function inside the page load event so paste that and execute it very simple there you go our data is displayed in our web application so go back to visual studio and what we have done is we create one function inside the, the function uh, we connect this application with the database and we use the sql command uh, uh, classes to write the SQL query and we open the connection and we use the SQL uh, data reader uh, classes uh, which provide a way of reading of forward only stream of row from the SQL server database and we execute this uh, SQL query using this reader and we uh, provide the data source of for our data grid view and we bind the data grid view so that's it which way you find it easy you can use that way in your application personally i use this uh, code behind technique that means we write the code in separate.cs file rather than uh, include the code in the .aspx file so that's it if you like this video share this video with your friends so that they can know about these tutorials and give thumbs up which really motivates us to create such programming video and stay connected with this channel in order to stay connected with this channel you need to subscribe this channel so subscribe this channel because we are giving you the tutorials that helps in completing your project so thank you once again for watching this video have a good day bye bye